150, 200 parents out on the front lawn of Parliament Hill to protest Ontario's sex ed curriculum. Now, it may not be the normal place to protest a provincial policy, but they wanted to have their voices heard and say, look, we're parents, we have a problem with what's going on. Stephanie McAvoy is one concerned parent. And Stephanie, what was your message here today? You were giving a speech, you were helping organize this. What was your central message? Uh, I had two points that I wanted to make that the state does not supersede parental rights. And we're seeing this happen from coast to coast. So even though perhaps Ontario is getting the most traction right now, we really have to be on guard that this is happening right across Canada. And we are the parents are the first educators and we need to just um, have a presence here in Ottawa for perhaps people that cannot be making the rallies and to go to Toronto and we want to tackle this it is happening all over Canada and also that um, this is a very important concept I think for parents to um, fully realize that there are cases happening all across the provinces and territories where in any, any other context, uh, these would be deemed illegal. So we're talking about... Such as what? Special interest groups and individuals pushing an, ag an agenda under the guise of sex education. And do you really want your... Girl Scout, your brownie leader, camp counselor, or Sunday school teacher giving your child a pamphlet about bondage. No, and you know what? Okay, bondage I'm not sure ever belongs in a sex ed curriculum, but my, my main concern, and I've been saying this since 2010 with Ontario's curriculum, and I'm sure it's the same in others, they're, they're saying Ontario will be the model if this goes through, is that so much of the material is age inappropriate. They, they've taken it from maybe a, a grade 10 level and moved it down to grade 7 and from grade 7 down to grade 3 and they're pushing it younger and younger. Uh, that is true and I think that we just need to really think about this so carefully because when you're bringing things down to children, to minors, think of the content Think what would, exactly what I said, in any other situation, this would be criminal. Exposing children to ideas, and, to, and this opens the gate wide open for this, when this curriculum, to, when it comes through, open, it's opening up a door, and I don't, we're not thinking carefully about this. We've just had the residential schools apology this week in Ottawa. Back in the day, the, all the experts says that was the right thing to do. We now know it was wrong. This is one of my concerns is that we're told, concerned parents like you, like me, we're told, well, the experts say this is the right thing. I've got kids that are in the age groups that will be learning some of this material. I don't think that, A, it's appropriate, B, they're ready to hear some of what is in there. This is exactly our concern and bringing it, it seems unusual as a federal issue, but it's the state does not exist to tell us what is moral and parents are the first educators. Do you think enough people get that concept that parents are the first educators? Parents used to be in charge of schools. They used to be in charge of school boards. Now it's as if uh, we're to hand over our children and, and just take whatever we're told. We're, we need to wake up parents and, and we are the first educators and we have to take back our parental rights. We're on a very slippery slope and you know we just look at history to see it is so very dangerous to give over our children to the state, to co-parent with the state. We need to just be very on guard, stand on guard for Canada, for our kids, and for our grandchildren. This is a very dangerous road we're headed down, and we need to reclaim our parental rights. All right, Stephanie McAvoy, thanks so much. If you're concerned about what's going on, make sure you sign our petition. The link's down below. Have your voice heard. And if you're not in Ontario, look for what's happening here to spread to your jurisdiction and be on guard.